Federal resources are available for counties in our area following Hurricane Ian. Those include Putnam, Flagler, and St. John's. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live. Marilyn, you've been talking with people and they plan on applying? From those who we spoke with, they say they will consider it, but you know, we've seen a lot of damage in those counties that you just mentioned. It's just important for people to know that these resources are available. You can apply now and it is through FEMA and the Small Business Association. <laughs> no chickens were harmed in the making of this story or when this 50 foot tree crashed on top of half of their chicken coop. Is it crashing on the metal out there? I heard that and kind of panicked, so I, I shot outside um, and I, I heard the, the thump of it hitting the ground as well. And, and I looked out there and I told her, oh my goodness. Cole Wiesner, his wife and two small kids were home Thursday when Hurricane Ian sent strong winds and rain their way. So strong it uprooted this tree right on top of their chicken coop. They've had the coop for about three years. Wiesner says every now and then he's made a few dollars off the eggs, selling them to people in the area. I called a representative with the Small Business Administration who says if this was a licensed official business, he could have gotten disaster relief assistance for it. Now that the funds are available for counties in Northeast Florida. So if you have a physical damage in your home, uh, you're eligible up to $200,000. If you have a personal property damage, uh, whether you're a home or a renter case, you're eligible up to $40,000, and that includes automobile. If you're a business and you have physical damage, if any of the contents inside this, your building was damaged, or even uh, their eligible businesses are up to $2 million. Though this coop may not get a federal upgrade, there are other businesses in St. John's, Flagler, and Volusia who may qualify, and they're encouraged to apply fast. SBA offers low interest disaster loans to homeowners, renters, businesses of all sizes, and nonprofit organizations. If you don't qualify for a loan, SBA will refer applicants back to FEMA for additional grant consideration. Weisner's wife says she's most thankful this tree didn't fall in their direction. Thank goodness it didn't fall on the house. Yeah, um, thank goodness sure. we're all okay. They hope assistance for those who need it most is given. You have until November 28th to apply. That representative with SBA also mentioned that the way some of these other loans works, it helps out those businesses that would normally be getting money from folks who have to apply for disaster assistance but can't really afford to spend money elsewhere. So it's somewhat of a cycle of how they're trying to help communities get back on their feet. For more information on these loans, head over to newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.